So I'm filming on my phone. I hope it's okay. My speaker does not hardly work. Um, so I'm just crossing my fingers that this is gonna come. Um, I'm at the grocery store. I have multiple stores to go to because Mama is on a major budget. I have literally $100 for the four of us for a week's worth of meals. Um, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks because my people can eat the snacks. Um, so I am on a budget. Aren't we all these days though? Like groceries are insane. So I've got my list. Um, I've got everything written down as far as breakfast, lunches for myself, lunches for the kids. Um, I'm going to do this thing. I'm really praying to find a few deals. I've scoured um, the flyers and I've made a mock cart in my Walmart app. So I know roughly what I'm going to spend there. I'm at a store called Food Basics right now. And it's a little like an Aldi, but more expensive. Um, but they don't have like, I don't know. It's just something. Anyways, here we go. So usually I place an online order uh, from Walmart to pick up my groceries. It's my favorite way to shop. I've been doing it for years and years and years. I mean, since it first came to our city, I have been grocery shopping that way. I love it. But I've got cash, so I'm going in. Um, I brought my AirPods so that I could listen to a podcast uh, while I shop. I'm probably listening to Jess from Roots and Refuge. I love her. Um, and I think that's it. I'm stalling big time because it's a Sunday. And I don't like being out and about on a weekend uh, in our city because it's busy. And anyways, I need to focus myself and go get this done. So I spent $29. <clears throat> I got three things that weren't on my list but they were definitely beneficial. And I found a couple things that were a slight bit cheaper um, that I had in my Walmart cart. So yay for that. <laughs> so I saved a little, but kind of went over budget, but I think it'll all wash out. Funny thing, I actually saw uh, the husband of a girl that I follow on Instagram. She's local, never met her before. Um, just to follow her on, online. She started following me. I loved what she was doing. So I started following her, watch her stories pretty much every day. Um, and I saw her husband and her kids and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so weird because I know that there are some of you that um, found me on YouTube um, and we've become friends like on Instagram and elsewhere and out in real life. So. Uh, it was just kind of funny to see that, to experience that on the other side of things. So anyways, I am off to Walmart. Here we go. If COVID taught me anything, it is to have hand sanitizer. Um, I keep this little guy on my keychain. This is from Bath and Body Works. I love this little sea turtle fellow and it holds some uh, hand sanitizer. So I use that when I get right back in my car. Actually, I pull my keys out before I leave the store and then um, sanitize up because, yeah, germs can stay away. I did it. I stayed right within my budget. Ended up getting a couple things more than I had planned, but was still in the budget, so that was good. Um, I ended up, ground beef was really on sale. Um, I have really big savings. So I ended up getting some of that. Um, I have come to a little grocery store called Smith's Market behind me here. Um, I had a gift card um, from a couple Christmases ago and have steadily kind of went through it. It's more of um, this little market is like they've got the best <laughs> produce, the best of the best of everything, um, but it can be kind of expensive. They do have some good um, sales once in a while but I decided I was going to get um, some deli meat. So mental note to me, I think I'm going to come back here. I'm getting sick. 
um, to get more deli meat because the price was amazing and I was even able to get some cheese and I have a few bucks left on my gift card so that's fun so anyways I'm all done I'm gonna head home and start to get all of this away um, I need to get some things prepped for the kiddos lunches tomorrow we do not have the option to buy lunches I mean they do have a hot lunch every once in a while but it's just like a main so you still have to pack everything else um, so, and we don't do that. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna head home and eat. It's four o'clock. I haven't eaten anything since breakfast. I'm hungry. Um, yeah. And the man sitting next to me in a truck and I think he's probably being pretty weird because he hasn't drove away yet. He loaded up a while ago when I started filming. So that's always fun. Being out in the wild, capturing yourself, I mean, it is, like, more common these days, but at the same time, it's weird. Okay, I am home, and I've laid out all of the groceries. <clears throat> I'm going to turn you around and share with you what I got, and then I'm also going to share with you the meal plan for the week. Okay, so starting here, this is the provolone. There's about six slices in here, um, which is just perfect for sandwiches for the week for myself. The kids don't really care for cheese. And then I got uh, Black Forest ham. So this was my free stuff. And then I, everything else is just kind of a jumble all together. Uh, I just need to fit things on my counter, which is really full of all the stuff. I made applesauce muffins earlier um and just all the things so anyways i got two water enhancers strawberry watermelon and orange tangerine these are some of my faves i drink a lot of water but i don't like just plain water taste so i really do love having water enhancers if you're an og you know i've been <laughs> i've been drinking water enhancers for a long time um lots of bananas and i got these whole wheat um wraps a little pack of tomatoes, an avocado, spinach. So, side note, lettuce this week is mm. insane. So a three pack of romaine at the Smith's Market was $10. Even iceberg lettuce was just expensive. It was like $3.47. But I have been craving salad, Colt requests, uh, requested salad, so I ended up getting spinach because I do want to add spinach to my eggs in the morning. It's one of my favorite things to do with eggs. Um, and so I'll do that, use this for salads, and then I did end up getting some uh, iceberg lettuce because we are going to do a taco thing and I had forgotten. So this was only $2.88, which I was pretty excited about. It is the whole leaves. It's not organic, um, or not whole leaves, I mean the large leaves. It's not baby spinach. So um, anyways, there's that. I got a box of pasta. Um, my kids love, love, love pasta. It is comfort food for them. And we are pretty much out of pasta. And that's one thing I always keep on hand. So I thought I just would get a box. This is only 97 cents at Walmart. And then these guys, these are honey crisp apples. And these were on sale for 84 cents a pound. Um, look at how monstrous these guys are. They're so big. Um, and so I got a bunch for the week. I'm thinking I'm going to love having one at lunch. Um, my big kids, that's a lot of apple for them to eat. I don't, I think Aubrey could eat a whole one, but I know Colt won't. So we'll see what fruit I end up putting in his lunch. Um, but anyways, great price on those bad, bad boys. I also got, um, a pack of eggs. As you can see, I've got some eggs here. These are from my friend's farm. She gave me four dozen eggs but we've gone through them quite a bit we eat a ton of eggs um and so i just got another pack to offset that jack is like into everything um and then a couple of cucumbers a couple of zucchini uh cheese a pack of peppers so normally i do um carrot sticks for the kids lunches they're pretty picky on vegetables as a lot of hi hey as a lot of kids, they're pretty picky on vegetables. Aubrey will eat more than Colt. Um, but they do both like peppers. So we're going to do peppers in our taco burrito bowls. Um, and then the rest I'll just chop up for their lunches. So speaking of that, I got uh, salsa. 
This was an impulse buy. This was popcorn. Um, I haven't had popcorn for a while, so I was like, this is this is really filling. It's great for a snack. Um, we love popcorn. I got some red lentils. This is for a soup for this week. Um, I also got a box of granola bars. I usually make my own, but the last couple times they've not been turning out that great, and I just need a break from them for a while. Um, <clears throat> cottage cheese. I'm going to be doing uh, some smoothies, and they have cottage cheese in them, some Trim Healthy Mama um, smoothies, and just the extra protein of cottage cheese is, is awesome sauce, so got that. Here's my head of iceberg lettuce. This was the cheapest lettuce, unless I got Boston lettuce, which is delish, but not nearly is enough bang for my buck. I got some um, plain Greek 0% yogurt for myself. My kids inform me they don't really care for yogurt, so there's that. Um, and then I got two packs of chicken, and then the ground beef was my impulse buy. This was less than $10, <clears throat> and yeah, so anyways, this is my little grocery haul for the week. Okay, so here is my little shopping list slash grocery list here. So tonight we're gonna have blueberry pancakes and peaches. Um, we had frozen blueberries in the freezer that need eaten up and um, I'm gonna make extra pancakes for the week ahead for breakfast. This is not all in order. I don't know when I'm gonna do some of these meals. I just needed a template. Um, one night this week we're gonna do chicken and it's probably just like baked chicken and roasted sweet potatoes, which I have here. I've got a bunch of them and I need to use them up. So we're gonna roast some sweet potatoes and then I've got frozen peas in the freezer. Um, we're gonna do burrito bowls. I have got frozen homemade refried beans, which are so good and I'm craving them. Um, so I'm gonna pull those out. And then I don't know if I'm gonna do chicken or if I'm gonna do the ground beef for taco meat, but one of them. Um, we'll do some peppers lettuce, tomato, salsa. Um, I had chicken because I hadn't planned to get ground beef and I've got onions on hand so we'll do like peppers and onions. I've got wraps for the kids. I'll do mine over lettuce, cheese, sour cream, and then I've got some frozen corn. So that will be a meal. Very filling. I love Taco Tuesday. Uh, so Wednesday or whenever, I'm going to do a loaded broccoli casserole. I've got lots of frozen broccoli and um, frozen cauliflower broccoli blends. So um, this is stuff I've got right in the fr freezer and I have the rest of the ingredients for this. It does call for bacon, which I don't have, but eh, I don't care about that. It's just kind of um, an, an added thing. And then barbecue chicken and I found this like low carb recipe for cheddar biscuits and I've got all of the things for it so we're going to do that. We're going to do haddock which is one of my favorite meals. Um, it is so good and it's got like this parmesan cheese sort of uh, coating over it. It is delicious and I cannot wait to eat that. Um, I don't know what we're going to have with it. Probably just salad and maybe um, frozen veg or something. Uh, Friday we'll do pizza, homemade pizza, um, or I actually saw in my little, I have like a little container of gift cards, we have a free pizza available to us from the local pizza place. We collected all these like little stickers and we do have a free pizza, so I might do that instead of actually making it, I don't know. Um, and then we get, I'm probably for myself going to do some pizza meat cups, they're like you line like a muffin pan thing container with um, deli meat and then fill it with sauce and and veggies and other meat and stuff and then you bake it and they're so stinking good. And then we'll do salad. Saturday, I actually have steak in the freezer so the kids may, who knows what's gonna happen on the weekend, but steak will be for mom um, and we'll figure it out. Like weekends are just sort of like whatever we've got food we'll figure it out but I think I'm gonna have steak and then cauliflower mash and salad so for breakfast um, I'll probably do these are for myself um, me and Jack actually I'm gonna do zucchini sauteed with um, fried eggs and then I've got some uh, sausage that I've made like 
breakfast sausage type thing crumbled and I love mixing it with eggs and some cheese and making like a scramble with that so that um, I might do overnight oats we'll see and then I've got my spinach for my eggs Aubrey eats lunch at school and I always have something for Colt so I've got breakfast burritos in the freezer and then also um, I'll make extra pancakes as well and we've got toast and different things like that so we're not hurting in the breakfast area for him he eats very little in the morning because again he also eats at school too but he likes to have something before he goes so for lunch for myself I'm gonna make this lentil soup and I will do like um, cucumbers and tomatoes maybe salad um, leftover chicken and sweet potatoes and then I've got the Greek yogurt I'll sweeten that with like some um, trim healthy mama sweetener to make it sweeter <laughs> and I have frozen cherries that is one of my favorite things so I'm gonna have those options for lunch and probably some of the apples as well and then for kids for the kids' lunches, I'm going to make um, oatmeal raisin cookies. They'll have sandwiches. We'll have leftover burrito stuff. They'll have apples. I've got blackberries in the fridge. Tons of crab apple sauce um, in the freezer. I've made muffins. We've got pretzels and crackers on hand. Um, so there's that. Uh, <clears throat> and then I'm thinking of making this Trim Healthy Mama chocolate chip banana bread that I have saved away. It looks really good. Anyways. There is the plan for the week. I just realized I forgot something. Parmesan cheese. I even wrote it again on my list so I wouldn't forget it, but I did. <clears throat> so I need that. I'll figure it out. I got some leftover money because I stayed in my budget I'm right near the top, but I think I'll be able to swing it. So. Bummer. Another thing that I've done is I've got muffins ready for the week for the kids so we've got monday tuesday and wednesday and then these ones are left over for jack for the week um and then i'm gonna actually make some more muffins i've got all the ingredients out the blueberry muffins we're doing blueberry pancakes for supper so i'm just gonna go ahead and throw all of that together um and probably just freeze them so that when the rest of the week hits um i can pull those out muffins are great but they only go for like a couple of days and then it's kind of like eh, they're a little a little slimy I don't mind a slimy muffin <laughs> um, but um, yeah we'll just do nice and fresh I've got some baking soda in this bowl I'm gonna wash some produce um, I have my I'm doing dishes otherwise I would use my sink so I'm gonna add some water to this and then I'm gonna soak my peppers and my zucchini and then I'll probably switch the water and I'll go ahead and soak the apples. Mm -hmm. 